life, they tell you to face things that are bigger than yourself. For me, this journey is one of them. Let's, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Oh, it's a huge one, dude, it's huge. Over the course of five days, a client turned friend, Steve, and I primitively camped and floated through over 40 miles of National Forest River and searched for wild, all run steelhead in Northern Michigan. While the idea seemed simple, it was so much bigger than I could have ever imagined. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to share with you what I consider to be one of the craziest fishing journeys I've ever had in my life. And it begins here in my front yard. Enjoy. All right, guys, the journey begins here. We're here in my front yard right now, making sure everything is packed up and ready to go. I've been crossing my T's and dotting my I's because this is a trip that is gonna be absolutely insane. I'm just going through all my gear right now, getting the boat packed up. I'm actually about to be meeting up with my buddy, Steve, who's gonna be joining me on this next four or five day float. And I think we're gonna go hit the grocery store, pick up a couple last minute items, set up our spotting situation, and our journey is gonna begin. Yo. Well, you ready, dude? Yeah, I'm just about ready. I'm gonna show some the truck and that's it. Cool. Well, I uh, just got all my gear packed and I think I'm gonna start heading your way towards the grocery. All right, I'll be leaving here in about five minutes or less. All right, we should be catching each other at the right time then. Mr. Steve. This is who's joining me on the float. Booked a couple trips with me and our buddies and we're going on this crazy adventure together. We are gonna go do the car spotting, which is about an hour away from here. Six months of planning starts now. Yeah, literally six months of planning starts right here in the middle of a dangerous road. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy video. Yeah. What do you think, like four? Taters, land of lakes, butter, salted. Cool, big time. Oh man. Well, she is packed to the brim. Now we got a nice little 30 minute drive or so. It's getting real. We're about to launch. Five minutes into our drive and we almost smoked a deer. Successfully made it to the boat launch. Five hours until the sun sets and we've got about eight miles of river to cover. We're kind of in a little boogie mode right now. I think the plan is to really just beeline down the river, hit the tried and true spots, to see if we can't pluck at least one or two steelhead. All right, I'd say that's good. can't make this up. I seriously didn't even put the plug in the boat. <laughs> Come on, man. What am I thinking? Of course, we launch without putting the plug in. I feel like such an idiot. Right, and this is it. Final pack. Just gonna kind of move everything to the back. The raft we're using today is a Stealthcraft XXL Hooligan. I think literally on their website, they're like, if you want a vessel for a 10 day Alaskan float, this is what you this is what you buy. We're not in Alaska and we're doing five days. So I think that we should be plenty, plenty good here. But cover water, catch fish, set up camp in the next four hours. That is the goal. Whatever happens, you have the next one. Big mature steelhead, and my day will be made. That's all I want. Oh, did you see that? I got obliterated.
Come on, Steelies. Fish, steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. That pink bag? Uh-huh. Reduced, reused, and recycled many times as well. <laughs> that thing was old. Just... Okay. He's coming at me, dude. Dude, jeez, this thing is crazy. It's a nice fish here, Steve. It just spilled right out. Ready? Yep. He should come surfing up. I don't want like him flailing on the surface. Got him. Drones faded a little bit, but nonetheless, very quality wild fish. Very early into the trip as well. And we're starting it off with a bang. Now it's Steve's turn. He is off. There he goes. Forced. I think this is about the sixth or seventh time I've gone out with a boat in the last three hours. It's so shallow, guys. We have been pulling ourselves through rapidy stretches and getting caught on boulders all day. All right, I think we're free. Oh my God. We're at the better part of our day right now. Caught a nice steelhead, which I'm happy about. So far, no major hiccups, but we definitely want to have some time to set up camp and we're going to kind of try to scope out a uh, spot that we can set up our, our nice TP hot tent. Steve's turn. This is kind of where things get a little hairy. We're starting to get into uncharted territory and we've had to deal with trees like this. And I think this is just the start of it. Signed up for it, Steve. More left this time. All right, three, two, one. All right, All right we're good. Oh, that was a fun one. Is this it? I think this is it. Oh, that's gotta be a hundred pounds. Night one. Just got camped all set up. Kind of going with the simple meal today just because we kind of had a later start. We just, we're, we were really more concerned just getting to where we got to today. We got here a little later than we wanted to, but at least tomorrow we're kind of on track and our, our itinerary will be where we need it to be. If that makes fucking sense. And these chili review. Mmm. That's great. There's like a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. what, what am I tasting right now? A little bit of sweet and a little bit of heat. Hold that. Told me guys could have a bite of this. It's actually insane. Well, here it is, guys. This is the summary here for day one. Not a bad day, hectic day, crammed a lot into a little bit of time. But caught a nice steelhead, had a good good dinner, successful camp. We are toasty warm and ready for what tomorrow has to offer us. About nine o'clock, gonna try to sleep for what I can and hit her hard in the morning. Good morning guys, just waking up now, 
and we were woken up by the sound of thunder. Looks like we're right on the edge of a big storm front that's coming through up from the north and it's windy. It's saying it's going to be 35 mile an hour gust today with a steady 10 to 15 blow. And we're hearing thunder rumbling <laughs> right around us. I know it's 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 north and it's coming at us right now. The rain has just begun. And that storm. It's not looking too light right now. This is where the flow begins, guys. Depending on how heavy this, this rain gets or lightning, we might try and now seek shelter. We are blowing upstream. We're right in the heart of it. Right on the edge. Well, at least we have dry gear to weather this storm, like all of our camping supplies, our sleeping bags are all sealed. Dumping hail. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely insane. We've made it down the river approximately 15 minutes before we were stopped in our tracks by this, and I'm glad that we just pulled out because we kind of pushed it because it was just kind of trickling rain, but I tell you what, I mean, within five minutes of taking out, we just got dumped on. This hail is huge, and it does not look like it's stopping anytime soon. That's a big one. All right, Steve, I'm gonna say it right now. From here down is the point of no return. This is where I have absolutely no idea what the river's gonna throw at us, and this is your verbal commitment to what we are. <laughs> Naturally, Steve and I started to reevaluate what we had gotten ourselves into. Facing the reality that this was only the beginning and every bend from this moment forward was all uncharted territory. But we both knew it couldn't end here. We weathered the storm and continued forward. Holy crap, there's so much water in my boat. Here you go. Yep. See the moment of truth. Ten pound. Still somewhat tempted to go to a lighter float, but oh, that's a fish. That's a fish, dude, for sure. What the heck? <laughs> Is that cool? Okay. Oh, he's so wrapped. I just gotta let this thing dance. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. There you go. That's better. I gotta stop saying let's go and dude. So, 
If anybody wants to give me crap for that, you have my full permission. Nice, dude. Sick. Let's go. Follow us on river. Finally, something I can feel a little excited about. Keep her in the water if you want. I'll float with you. Steve on the boondoggle. This would be the first steely of your trip here, right? <laughs> Play her out if you have to, man. Try to hold it upstream a little more and then surf it down. Nice. Steve, finally Got her. on the first fish of the trip. Nice adult hen. What'd you take? Your peach bag? Peach bag. Let her go. Alright, here she goes. Away she went. This is like one of the best holes I've seen. Yeah, I got, I got a little too deep. Maybe my depth was good. That fish got him. Oh, absolutely. Oh man, <laughs> smoked the peach. It's gonna happen here. Now I got beef with this thing. The ripping wind. I don't really see it, but I'll send it. Fish, 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 fish. Yep, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's a nice one, it's a nice one. Oh, it's big. It's it's actually big. Fish, I'm getting out first. He's gone. Sounds about fall steelhead right there. Busted my clean rig right off. All my shots slid up to my bobber, I just got Whooped. I definitely think there could be some more, but that one, that one freaking hurt. I'm putting on the cable. I'm putting on 14 pound, I don't care. I'm telling me, these fish do not care this early a season. I run up to 16 pound this time of year all the time. That's fish. There you go. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, he's kicking hard. I got it. The last three were steelhead, so. Well, man, it seems like they're really all just chilling together. Got a nice hen right here. Not as big as the one I lost, but feisty. Feisty right off, right off the lake. Nice, iridescent, chrome hen. Fish? Steely, right? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, you're. Get out of that wood, man. Watch if that breaks, if Rod's in the back of the fish. Oh, you're that wood. That is a hot fish. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. If you get her surfing, you'll get him. Stud. That is what we came here for. Nice. Someone had to catch the nice adult. Steve did it. You can let him drink real quick. I'll get a picture on my phone, of course. Oh, he's gone. Fish flop. I gotta cut that out. No, it's binded. This is insane. Oh, all right.
Whoa. to eat tonight. Oh, I'm fine that way. I just need food. My body will be fine. I got the tent right here. Yeah. Sure. Okay. It hurts to hold this camera up right now. Just settled down for our second night. My arms feel like they're gonna fall off my body right now. I don't know how many branches we cut. I don't know how many times we got out of that dang boat. Especially considering the fact that we started the day off rushing, panic packing. We didn't even have time to really cook any breakfast. Steve and I are absolutely just in another dimension right now. But we did score a nice whole spot again. going to be so good this is some chrome atlantic salmon a nice tailpiece no bones perfect for probably three people this tailpiece is huge nice looking meat these are the choices tonight mr steve we've got the catch and cook lemon pepper mm -hmm. we've got the white out this is a garlic that might actually be really good Gar butter garlic that sounds good on the salmon <laughs> Shout out Josh McFads. Douse these potatoes. Should be good. These will be a little water chunks. Nice vein of fat right down the gut. A little lemon. Alright. Sticking your vegetables out here. That's gonna be awesome. It's gonna cook her on both sides for a little bit. I might do a little bit more butter on her. That smells insane. Would you go two for five? Three for five? Today? I hooked five steelhead and I landed two. And then I lost a nice brown. I'll show me that on the butter. There we go. Look that at that. That smells really good. Like I said, I'm not even a salmon guy. That smells awesome, though. No. Oh. Give me a smaller piece. Yep. I wish you guys could smell what this pan is giving off. The aroma in this tent is insane. Steve, the non salmon lover. Trying some Atlantic. That was good. It doesn't go for salmon. Let's see it. Wow. No, you're lying. You're just saying it. No, I can tell you if it sucked. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Like, come on. Come on. Cooked to perfection as well. Look how hot the chimney is. Oh my god, throttle that back. Alright. <laughs> 45. First test here. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. I don't know if it's the fish or the seasoning or it's just cooked right. That is seriously good. This thing is going to get devoured. And then we'll do a little for the one time. The vegetables. We chopped up some potatoes. We used this uh, frozen vegetables. Oops. I did definitely add a little too much salt, but probably need it. This turned out awesome, guys. Definitely 
I have a good assortment of firewood. Makes it good. For all the gentlemen and scholar worthy individuals watching this video, if you guys use Fish USA at all, this code is yours. Not a bad day. Hooked five, landed two. Steve landed two. And uh, I definitely lost a very nice fish today. And I'm hoping tomorrow we can get revenge on a big fish. But nonetheless, it's cool hooking fish out of water. I've never fished before. We got two, potentially three more days left in this float. And it just seems like the story is getting better and better. So, hope you guys are enjoying. Catch you on the flip. Fistfuls. Day three, from here on out, it's gonna get crazier and crazier. Today is the day that the river really forks apart and gets pretty skinny, and I just, just hope that we go down the right half of it. Catching fish, can't complain. I'd be happy if I could redeem myself on that larger fish that I lost yesterday, but nonetheless, gotta cover a lot of ground today. Should see some very fishy water. We gotta stay wise, make the right choices, picking the right forks, and I don't see why today can't be any better than yesterday. Here, pull on her real quick. I might, if I get like another inch or two, I might be good. There you go. Oh, there you go. Go. I'm gonna send her all the way through. How deep is it? Meet me on the bank over here on the right. Let's get on shore and I'll pick you up on the bank. Oh my gosh. Left or right? Now it looks like a deep trough. I fish it for sure. That is deep, deep. And there's gravel down there. Oh my God. What? This is the most narrow stuff I've ever brought my raft through. I'm not even joking. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Drop her in right there, man. Fish those swirlies. Those, those are deep buckets. That's way too skinny. That was freaking sweet. Did you see how hard that just dropped, dude? Very nice. Oh, wow. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. That's a nice fish. That is a nice one. Try to keep this one quick. It's a football, guys. Inhaled that bag. Like, inhaled it all the way down its gullet. Look at how deep that bag is, dude. Choked. All right. Just got a little red stripe going on. He's gone. Wow. It comes back together. I don't know if we're getting across, dude. But uh, there's some in the back row us all the way back up. <sighs> what? Yeah, get out of here. 
There's no rule. We gotta go. I just got one nice adult. I'd be happy. Look very clean. The moment of truth right here. Whoa. Completely empty. I'll go a little more. Steal it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's so spinned up, Steve. He's so spun up right now. Oh my goodness. That had to have been what bit me then. Nice fish. It's a really nice one. That was the trick. I dropped her down just a tad. That kind of hurt. Walk in my pet steelhead. Oh, maybe she'll let me. Maybe. Maybe that's where we pull it off. It's caught this beautiful hen steelhead. Seems to be the name of the game today, guys. It's catching a bunch of hens. Just gonna keep her wet. Didn't even matter. Should release nice and clean. Cool. Let's get some more. I'll just Happens. Yeah. The junk hole. That's what I'll call this. Got a bunch of freaking garbage cans next to it. There it is. Oh. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a nicer one, Steve. Oh, it's a big, Steve, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's, it's, it's actually big. This is definitely, like, probably one of the bigger ones that we've hooked. This... Oh, oh my gosh. Heart is racing, guys. Full steelhead are the best. I do not care. Fall fish are the freaking best, man. This isn't real. <laughs> are you kidding me? This thing is buried in that hole, man. Oh, stop telling all your friends. Get out of there. This is that nice fish I was talking about. I was hoping to catch. Ready, Steve? Yep. All right, we're gonna get one quick scoop. Oh, it's a nice fish. Hot fish, hot fish. Very hot fish. Oh, it's a freaking donkey buck. That's nice. <laughs> oh, that's a gem. Such a nice fish on the truce bag. This is at least my biggest one of the trip right here. Nice buck. Probably pushing that little 10 mark. He is very lively. Felt these bays that first one I caught on day one, but just the chromed out version. He should kick violently. <laughs> that thing just soaked me. It's shaping up to a similar day as yesterday. We, we plucked a couple random fish early on, and then we just found a hole that had a couple buckle down in it. So, just gonna keep throwing some bags, see if we can't get the job done again. I know you're there. Do it. Steve just locked up on the biggest brown of the trip by far. Wow. Beautiful. Very respectable fish. Here, hold them up for the, for the cam. 
Yeah, that's awesome. As we descended our way further down the river, we felt rewarded crossing paths with several quality steelhead. It had seemed as if all our fears of portaging and the angst of choosing broken paths had been lifted off of our shoulders, giving us a feeling of optimism as we continued downstream. Reason number 900,999 why these inflatable rafts are key. We're drafting probably two inches and in, about three inches of water and just drifting through this completely normally. If I had a drift boat in here, I would be absolutely walking all of this right now. Night number three. I think we're gonna have a, a little walleye fish fry night. So that'll be nice. There she goes. Cool. I always thought that these wood stoves were just like big old bricks that you just carry around with you, but not now. This is this is called uh Danchel Outdoors. Danchel Outdoors? Danchel D A N C H E L. It's modular, it's just kinda like Locks into place with these little clips. Together. And this is our third night using it, and I mean, she's been kicking, like putting out good heat. I give it, I give it a good review if I had to review it. And then these clips on there. Cool. And this is what keeps us warm at night. Fresh Canadian walleyes. I just got back from Canada right before this trip. Got some real nice fillets, some collars. Hopefully this should feed us. They're on the larger side. It's like nice 16, 17 inch walleye. Probably have some veggies again. And we gotta make some french fries. Oh, I had, uh, yes, I would have coffee. Nest cafes. I gotta say, you put me onto this when you booked that trip with me last year in the fall. You're good. Steve busted out these instant coffees. I was like, what the heck's this? Cream and sugar. And uh, these things rock. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. I gotta heat up more for you if you want more. We're gonna do actual. French fries. Individually cutting French fries right now. I find when I do these fr fish fries and stuff, dude, like the thinner you cut, you can get these fries, the better. Uh -huh. French fries. No widow makers up there? No. Oh, uh, <laughs> this one's dead, but they all look pretty sturdy, besides that one. That one's, like, leaning right over. Oh, dude, there's a dead tree, like, leaning right over our thing. Like, literally a dead tree is hanging right above. The, uh... I think we, this should be enough fish, don't you think? I think so. I usually keep a little smaller walleyes. But up in Canada, they have a slot system where, like, you can only keep a certain size walleye. You have to let go the walleyes that are 17 and a half inches to 21 inches, something like that. And this is like a 17, so this is like the max keeper size that you can have. Gonna be whipping up some catch and cook tonight. The stuff is great. It's actually really good. I used to have the shore lunch stuff all the time. Catch and cook is actually really solid. We're gonna do a what? So how come all of our eggs broke inside of the cooler and then this one just doesn't? Jeez, uh, dude, this thing is freaking hard, bro. Calcified. That was a winner right there. 
So we're gonna do a wet batter. We're gonna lather all these fillets right here in our nice walleye collars into here, get them wet. We're gonna apply this beautiful catching cook. Yeah, these are gonna have a little mat. Trying to avoid splattering grease, so I'm gonna be kinda. Oh. Well, due to uh, a lack of judgment, we <sighs> decided to not have a grease fire inside of our hot tent. I ran out here, I whipped up a quick little fire for us, got this grease hot, and now we're going to do a proper fish fry, and we're going to get crazy with some grease. So let's get these fries on here, Steve. I think that oil's good enough. Nice. Cool. Yeah, so it basically did that, but inside all of our uh, really valuable stuff so we're not going to do that this time that's what you want to see right there hot 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 you don't want to you don't want to cook fish and like these french fries and stuff with a low heat because it just they kind of get soggy and you want to really crisp that outside so That is what we want. Oh, that's gonna be so good, Steve. Start pulling these fries out. Starting to get that golden color that you want, that little McDonald's fryer color to them. You can tell that they feel nice and crispy. That's what you want right there. And you can hear it. It's got that nice crisp to it. So we're gonna pull these, get the walleye going. That this stuff is killer for your fries. That comes out fast. Get the walleye going. All right. I think we need a little more batter. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. Actually, it is perfect. I think that's why I actually brought it. I don't think about it coffee on the ground here Steve and we're just gonna take some some egg right here we have french fries in our walleye and all we're gonna do is basically lightly douse our walleye and this right here shake her up that is gonna be insane ready we're gonna do this like ten times in a row Money. All right, we gotta go quick though because we don't want it. We want to be able to pull this out evenly. That's why it's nice having a, a sidekick for these walleyes. Boom, number two. See, I like being lazy with the grease. Splatter that freaking grease. The egg just gives it a little bit more of a uh, binder. Yep. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Get ready. All right, guys. Food turned out great. Got some nice crispy fries here. Oh, man. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Okay, now I can see your All face. Right. A little chunk of walleye here. We don't have any dipping sauce. Usually I'd have like tartar sauce or something like that, but I guess I'll just do a cat ketchup. This is awesome, man. This is awesome. We are taking Steve's walleye collar virginity here. This is how you eat, Steve. Just like this. Mmm. And right there are the two bones. Mmm. It's chilly, dude. There you go. That's what you want to be left with. That's the start of the fins right there. Killer piece. I'll give you a little bit of lemon, not a whole lot. But hold it so then this part's on the roof of your mouth, and then like pull on it with your teeth, but mostly suck on it. Now let me know what you think. Lightly. Just like, oh, no, no, don't pull on it. That hard fuck. The, no, <laughs> no. Here, you might be able to pull about. Oh, you totally mangled it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is it bony? No. 
Yeah, how is it? It's delicious. <laughs> the fins broke. Clean plate club here on night three. Those walleyes were freaking awesome. Well, the sun has risen because I can see it through the the vent up there. Oh yeah. It's it's, cloudy and gloomy. it's just gloomy and has been raining for probably a good two hours now. What do you say? Rain's been going for probably since 5 a.m. 5:30. Yeah. What time is it now? 7:30. 7:17. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna have a later start today. We have battled all conditions. We've had. Thunderstorms, heavy rain, hail, snow. <laughs> Grease fire. <laughs> Grease fires, yeah. <laughs> and it is projected to downpour pretty much all day today. It's saying 0.7 inches of rain. I'm sorry, I lied. One inch of rain all day it is going to rain. This water is starting to accumulate on the top of our tarp. Use them up if you want. FishUSA.com. I think the rain is pouring harder than it has all morning. I don't think we're going anywhere for a while, man. But yours is pretty good, Steve? Great. All right, cool. Let's try her out here. Mmm. Nice. I have no regrets staying in this tent right now. <laughs> Me either. It would have been miserable if we left like when we did yesterday. Put my waders on laying down. Just something I've never done. I already look forward to taking these off. Talk about a pack out tonight. It's, I mean, it's gonna rain all day today. We have at least one more night left, if not two. Three, two. <sighs> day number four. It's a Christmas tree. Oh, look at all those ravens. Huh? Boom. Brand new 11. Boom. 15 grammer or 20. 15. Broken. No, it's a slip float. Let me see it. 18 gram slip float. Four floats right there. 20 bucks. Cha ching. There's got to be something on this flat. There's no way there's not steel hut on this whole flat. I'm in there enough for sure. Oh. I'm surprised it got over. Yeah. Fish. There it is. 
<laughs> oh, nice! I I knew it. I I freaking knew it. I had to play around with my freaking butt a little bit. Hot fish, man. Very hot fish. Beautiful. Another hen. Um, nice. Hens are friends. You want to be set up for under that tree. Yep, right there. Follow that exact line. Oh, come on. It has to happen. Fish? No way. Really? Really? Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a nice fish. I knew it. It had to happen. It had to. In the cold November rain. That rod straight up. Oh, it's a nice one. It's your biggest yet, this trip. Oh, that's a tanker, dude. That's a tank. Oh, watch that. Shut or. Yeah, pull that way, pull that way. Holy shnikes, that's a big one. It's a nice fish, dude. It's a nice one. Biggest of the trip, by far. That's a big one. Oh, dude, that's a tank. If he isn't this not ready yet. Yep, yep, yep. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's a big oh, one. Yeah. That's a big freaking. Yeah, that's the biggest of the trip, maybe. Steve just landed an absolute freaking donkey of a hen. Wow. <laughs> big fish, dude. Congratulations. <laughs> The deer is crossing the river. It's totally swimming across our hole. Right now, the river is breaking apart so much that we actually don't know where to go. Okay, yeah, so that was... That little branch that was to the right looks like she comes back together right here. Yeah, fish. Yeah, fish on. Yeah. Oh, she really breaks apart a lot though. Oh my god, dude! It's a maze, Steve. It's a freaking maze. Look at this. Oh my god. I have, bro. I have. N I don't even know where the. F like my boat is right now. <laughs> oh, I think I found us. This right here actually looks pretty clean. Are you seeing this? Like, look at right here to the left. It's like just flat land. Let's do it. I'm ready to set up camp. Get warm. We're calling it early today. We are. We're gonna find a good campsite. I'm still happy that we at least managed land two nice fish, but it's it is cold. It is wet, and we just want to get next to a hot fire and drink a bunch of coffee and sit in some shelters. So we just found this nice little fork off the main river here. And I think this is where we're going to call home for the night. Wow. I'm so gimme in here. I'm coming. Oh. <sighs> Holy crap, what is going on out there, dude? Goodness freaking gracious, guys. Soaked. This is the hardest rain we've had. You can hear it. It's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. probably sounds absolutely chaotic right now and that is because it is 
the second we set up our campsite. It was funny, this is the earliest that we've set up our camp this entire trip, and it was just kind of off whim. The second we got our, our teepee set up, we just started hearing some rumbling. And it grew louder and louder and louder, and it turned into an absolute just beat down rainstorm with thunder and lightning all over the place. Probably the hardest rain that we've had this entire trip. It was weird. We went through some of the water that I thought would be uh, some of the better stuff this trip, and it just didn't turn up. We've gotten a lot of rain over the last 24 hours. A little surprised that we didn't hit some more fish, but tomorrow, supposed to be high and dry west winds things are looking up so i mean it's gonna keep chugging along keep covering river and hope for the best but as of now just happy to be dry gonna get some food call her an early night tonight because we got another full day tomorrow I definitely slept on like a 45 degree angle last night. Day five, we have been given some sunlight today. Maybe it's a little glimpse of hope. Last night was a little rough, probably one of our rougher camps. I think the uh, the rain really saturated our gear. We got an inch and a half of rain over the last two days and definitely changed the, the camping a little bit, but we're dry. We had fire, we had heat. We're seeing some really good spots, but that river with all this rain is just spiking hard right now. So I don't know, just gonna go into it with an open mind. It's a new day and uh, just gotta hit the river. It's time to go. You say one and I'll help you drag her up. Our dry bag keeping things wet for us. I didn't think that we can fit any more water in here. Uh, who am I speaking with? Uh, Sergeant Wimmer. Hi, Sergeant. Hi, Sergeant Wimmer. Uh, you just sent me a message. I didn't get the phone call, but my vehicle is the one in the boat launch. Yep. That's PA tags. Uh, yeah, we are on a multi-day float trip that we're planning on getting done today. Okay. Uh, everything's going good. We're safe. We're uh, hoping to hit the mouth today. Okay, awesome. Do you guys have any luck? Yeah, we got into some fish and we got into some sleet and some rain and some thunder and some lightning and... <laughs> it's not everything, but uh, it was a fun trip, and uh, we're doing good. We're safe and we're healthy. Oh, All right, thanks. Thanks for checking up. I appreciate that. Okay, have a good day. We just got a missed call from the sheriff's office. They tracked down Steve's license plate number, got his phone number. Bear in mind, this dude lives in Pennsylvania, right? <laughs> and the sheriff just left a voice or sent him a text asking if everything was okay because his vehicle has been parked at the boat launch for five days in a row that is crazy good to know that somebody's kind of got our back though yeah. you know somebody's paying attention out there so i just thought that was kind of nuts fish yeah that's a fish right what are you serious nothing huh All right. That's fish. That's oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Oh, it's a huge one, dude. It's huge. It's gone. It's gone. That 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 was that was a 15 pound steelhead. I have to stay positive, dude. It's possible I could land a larger fish than that, but you hook. A 15 pound plus steelhead like that, maybe a handful of times a season. Whoa, did you see that? I just got obliterated, Steve. I just got obliterated, like full spawn bag, completely gone. But I've bent back my like two X strong nickel hooks on jigs and I've I've caught mature fish on them plenty of times. Could have been the snag, but dude, that, I mean, I came up with nothing. Like literally. That's fish, that's fish. Come on, 
coming right at me. <laughs> I told you that was a fit. <laughs> I told you, Steve. Nice. Nice. All right, getting a little hot back in our step, guys. Oh, it's a great looking fish. Jeez, this thing is wild, man. I had to get my head back in the game. I got smoked so hard. Oh, that's a great hen. Look at it. Such a chunk. False steel head, baby. <laughs> Did you see how fast it came upstream at yeah, me? I was trying to get out of your way. I thought I was gonna... Nice, keeper wet. Great fish. All right, all right. Bag pop right out. Nice. Barely hooked, skin hooked. We went from a heartbreaker to this nice healthy fish. To remind us why we come out and do it. Beautiful chrome hen, perky dorsal fin, wild fish with an awesome bite. Last one stings, but this helps the blow a little bit, guys. Good stuff. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more. Upstream of us, so I have been literally rowing upstream, what it feels like upstream at least, for the last probably hour and a half. It is showing no signs of stopping. Earlier we had white caps, but I am rowing upstream. This way is down, and all these waves are just coming directly upstream. It's it's a freaking grind. Probably have another hour of rowing at least, Jason chasing the sun down, but this is brutal. Huge. Yeah. Up here, the river's going to turn go this direction. It looks like you'd be out of that way in a little bit. Might help us a little bit. Yeah. You're bucking it right now head on. Yeah. No way, way we're going to. Three days or whatever. No, it's all weird. <laughs> 